It was winter on the island of Sodor, and everyone was enjoying the snow. All of the Fat Controller's engines were hard at work, but sometimes the snow can cause all sorts of delays. So for safety, the engines have to wear their snow plows to help keep the lines clear. One cold morning, Thomas, Percy, and Duck were at Tidmouth Sheds. The three tank engines were having their snow plows fitted. Another morning for another busy day's work. Isn't it right, guys? It sure is, Thomas. I just love the snow. Everything looks so beautiful all around here. <laughs> so do I, Percy. But it is better to be safe than sorry. Diesel was shunting nearby. He sniffed when he saw the steam engines. <laughs> Snow plows. Such a waste of rubbish if you ask me. Only smelly steamies wear them because they're scared of a little snow. Now, the diesels of Sodor never wore a snowplow, unlike the steam engines, because they seem to be fine without them. But as such, they do tend to get stuck in heavy snowdrifts, so they always needed help to be dug out. To Diesel, he often views snowplows as useless things, and could never understand the purpose of them. Thomas, Duck, and Percy were cross. For your information, Diesel, snow plows are important because they help to clear away the snow without getting stuck, and they're not rubbish. He's right, you know. Every engine has to wear a snow plow no matter what the weather. It's not safe to go out without them. Not me. A revolutionary diesel engine such as myself never wears such ugly things. Snow is just silly, fluffy white stuff. Nothing to it. I'd simply push it aside. All the same, you should learn to be sensible if you want to stay safe, Diesel. Even Terrence once told me that when I first got stuck before. I know how to be sensible, thank you. I don't need a steamy telling me what to do. <sighs> that Diesel will never listen, will he? Sure, I didn't like my snowplow before, but at least I learned now that I must always wear it when it snows. And you did learn your lesson after those incidents, Thomas. But all the same, some engines like him do tend to have things their own way, that's for sure. You know, I'd like to see him wear a snowplow for himself one day. Then he would learn sense. Little did the tank engines know that this would come sooner than expected. The next morning, Diesel, Pax, and Sydney were at the diesel works getting ready for work when Bogo arrived with some flatbeds. On them were three sets of queer looking blade devices and are each painted black, green, and blue. Good morning, everyone! These just came in from the mainland last night! I wonder what these are for? The question was answered at once as the manager arrived. Sydney. These are your new snow plows. We're going to have them fitted as a sort of test to see how they work on you as requested by the controller. If all goes well, then we should have you three help clean away the snow alongside the other steam engines. And I'm sure they'll need all the help they can get. Oh wow! Our very own snow plows! That sounds great! What do you think, Sydney? Uh yes, great! <laughs> Wait, what are we supposed to do again? What? Me? Wear that horrible, ugly thing? I won't do it! Now listen here, Diesel. We are going to have your snowplow fit, but I do not want to hear any bit of complaining from you, please. Fine, sir. In no time at all, the three diesel shunters had been fitted with their new snowplows. Afterwards, they each purred away, with Diesel being the last to leave, brooding to himself. <laughs> 
Throughout the day, the diesels carried about their day's work with their new snow plows glistening in the sun. Pax and Sydney each grew fond of them, but Diesel was still very livid about it as he took a goods train along the main line. A few of the other engines laughed when they saw him. Hello, Diesel. Nice snowplow you've got. I say it really suits you. Shut up. At least I'm not the one who gets stuck in a snowdrift, unlike some engines. You're one to talk since you never got stuck in one your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> when Diesel returned back to the Diesel Works, he was still fuming. Hello, Diesel. How was your new snowplow? I certainly enjoy mine today. Uh, me too, I think. Uh, well, I don't. It's awkward and terrible, and it makes my front ache. Plus, there's not a single drift to clear. I can just carry on without it tomorrow. But, Diesel, you might get yourself stuck if you don't use it. How will you get through the snow, then? Paxton's right. You might get yourself in big trouble if you're not careful. And besides, Driver told me there's going to be more snow tomorrow, so you might want to be prepared for that. Oh, not you too, Boko. You're all even more worse than those steamies. Good night. Diesel sidled back into his berth and went crossly to sleep. The other Diesels could see that he was not going to listen, so they said nothing. The next morning, Diesel woke up. The sky was still clear, and there wasn't a cloud to be seen. Then, a devious idea flew into his cooling fans. Driver, could you take this snowplow off me, please? It feels really uncomfortable. I don't know, Diesel. The weather forecast said there's supposed to be a blizzard later today. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I heard nothing of a snowstorm coming. The forecast must have told you wrong. So could you please take this thing off? I insist. Well, all right. But if it does snow, you will have to wear it at some point. Diesel secretly grinned. His plan was working, for the most part. His driver took off the snowplow and Diesel oiled away, feeling very pleased. His first job of the day was to take some empty trucks to Farquhar Quarry and bring back loaded ones down to the harbor. Diesel purred along through the snowy countryside. He thought things were going well so far, now that he didn't have to wear a snowplow, and he was feeling more pleased with himself than ever before. See? Nothing to it. A little bit of snow can't stop me now. At the quarry, he collected his stone train and set off for the harbor. But as he made his way back down the branch line, the sky grew very cloudy. Then, huge white flakes of snow began to fall, slowly at first, then harder and harder. Diesel was starting to regret his boasting, but he carried on. Then, there was trouble. Just at the cutting before the harbor, a huge snowdrift had piled up. Diesel saw it, but tried to put on a brave face. I can do it. Snow wouldn't dare try to stop me. He honked his horn and charged straight towards it. This was a big mistake.
No one was hurt, but Diesel was well and truly stuck. Grease and oil! I, I can't move! Diesel tried to go forward and backward, but his wheels spun helplessly. His driver was very cross. I warned you, and now look what's happened, you stupid engine! Now I have to go and phone for help! Diesel waited helplessly. The snow got higher and higher as the hours passed until it slowly stopped falling. And soon he was almost buried. His frames were shivering and he felt colder and miserable. Then, all of a sudden, he heard the sound of a steam engine chuffing from behind. Oh, great. Help has finally arrived. Now I can... Oh, no. It, it can't be. But it was. Thomas arrived with a works coat, and in his cab was a familiar figure Diesel didn't wish to see. Diesel! You are a very careless engine, going off without your snowplow when you should have realized that when that snowstorm came. And I have also heard that you have said very rude things about snowplows. They have their purpose for a very good reason in harsh conditions. You must always wear it at all times, whatever the weather. And I hope after today's incident that this will teach you to be more sensible in future. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh. It took a long time to dig Diesel out of the snow. His generator was also frozen up, so Thomas had to help him and his stone train all the way to the harbor. Afterwards, he took him back to the diesel works for repairs. On the way, they met Percy and Duck at Ellsbridge Station. Ah, oh, I say, Duck, whatever is that frozen object? That's diesel, don't you know? Oh, it looks like diesel's shape. It's nearly black as diesel, but it can't be. Diesel says that a revolutionary engine like himself never wears such ugly things like snow plows and that he could push the snow aside with ease. Well, I think Diesel won't go plunging into any more snow drifts after this, even if he could with his own snow plow on. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughed while Diesel just growled. <laughs>